So now we need to connect the battery connector thingy. Um, let's see, plus square, sorry, square is positive. So the square part is positive. I wonder if it goes, yeah, it goes underneath. Okay. So the square part, this part's a little bit tricky because the joints are so, they don't give you a lot of space, but it's really easy to do. And then make sure this, I'm not sure why this is like that. Looks like I have to run it out. There we go. Um, remember the plus side is the square side. You can do one at a time. Uh, in this particular case, remember plus is square. You can squeeze that in like that. Oh, nice. And then apply tape underneath. Yeah, I think that's a better idea. So here's what we'll do. We'll put this in like that. And the round ones, the, uh, um, they don't need to be tinned. These looks like these pieces are already, these parts are already tinned. And so then what we can do is apply some painter's tape so that this can hold. I got them in, but hopefully they hold. Okay. So apply some tape, right? And then we can continue with the helping hands magnetic helping hands, which is phenomenal. And then now we go here and we can put one here. And remember, if it's not long enough, just roll it on the magnetic table and bring it in. All right, so now temperature should be ideal. Um, definitely want flux. I don't want it to bleed or bridge the connections. Okay, and then we go there. And now we wait for the temperature to be its ideal melting point hopefully oh actually yeah that's right hopefully hmm, won't let us install the battery box and secure it with the nylon screws okay great i was going to say hopefully we don't have to because in some kits you have to maneuver the battery box through the connections after it's closed but in this case no so it looks like it's all going to be sealed together inside uh we are our ideal temperature looks like it's 7 30 this time with the with the see so tap it and next one we will tap it and voila we've got the battery connection and we did it